You may have seen a sea of red marching down Woodward Avenue today in Detroit for the annual Sickle Cell Matters Walk. Hundreds gathered at the Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History to participate. The Sickle Cell Association of America Michigan chapter puts it on every year and as Megan Woods reports for the people walking there is purpose in every step. The mission of this walk goes beyond bringing awareness. They want to educate and instill hope in the community. And I have sickle cell. Today, we are the sickle cell walk. From little ones to seniors, people who live with sickle cell refer to themselves as a sickle cell warrior. Why? Well, because of what they're up against, a genetic blood disease that affects the red blood cells. And so what it does, it carries less amounts of oxygen that goes through the blood vessels. And from that, that creates the issues uh, where the blood vessels are stopped and the sharp pains happen. Um, strokes can happen because of that. And this walk. <laughs> has many meanings, a reminder of how strong they really are. I'm a warrior, and this is my shield. Um, and so many people, when you hear sickle cell, you think negatively. And us as sickle cell warriors, we just live each day like we know how to live, you know. Yes, we have pain. Yes, we have hospital stays. But it's what we'll be doing between time. We don't allow it to stop us. Or how much progress medicine has made over the years. There are lots of people living well with sickle cell disease and there are people live with gray hair with sickle cell disease. So we want to dispel some of those myths and we just want people to be aware of the fact that this is a very challenging patient population that we're you know, trying to serve. Or for the family of eight year old Zuri Carter, it's a moment to make a statement. From the hospital visits to her pain, um, just her just not understanding what she's going through when she has the pain. So her fight is our fight. We try our best to just make sure that she's getting the full information that she needs to know why she's going through what she's going through. Well, like the shirt says, it takes a village, you know. So we're all here supporting Lil Z and everybody else. Um, like we say, it's a good turnout. And like you mentioned, too, you know, her pain is our pain. So we're all in this together. In Detroit, Megan Woods, Local 4.